Yo dudes! Uh, welcome to Easy Creamy Curry Sauce. This one is simple, it's a great way of sneaking more veg into people and there is a, a slight greater degree of complexity so it's incredibly delicious. Right, first step, we got a pan, we're gonna put it on high heat. In previous curry videos, people commented that why didn't we heat our spices in oil to help carry the flavour through. Totally agree, we wanted to make it really easy but in honour of you guys, because we do listen and we do read the comments, uh, I'm going to pop in and heat the spices. So I've got one tablespoon of oil, I'm going to allow that just to heat up. Uh, while that's heating up, I'm going to talk you through the spices. So there's quite an array of spices here and it's important kind of to use them all if you can. Spices are cheap and they're affordable and they will last for about six months. Three tablespoons of curry powder, one teaspoon of ground coriander, teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garam masala, three tablespoons of desiccated coconut and two tablespoons of ground almond. I'm gonna pop them into the oil. This will help transfer the flavor. So I'm literally only gonna put them in this for kind of a minute. They will start to claw together but it'll kind of awaken them, it'll allow them to release more flavor, um, and also it'll allow, a lot of them are kind of oil or fat soluble, so they'll just spread through that. Okay, so once you're getting a slight aroma of kind of like smokiness, a kind of degree of kind of caramelization, ready to go. So take them off the pan, turn the pan off, take our blender into our jug, we're gonna pour in all the spices. Don't clean the pan. Leave it back on. Into the pan, this is the bit where you get to hide more vegetables. So we simply roast for 25 minutes, one red onion, one yet red pepper, one yellow pepper, and two carrots. Also included three, three cloves of garlic. Through roasting, the flavors become soft, they become more caramelized, they become more, more sweeter. So this is gonna be one of the bases of our sauce. So in they all go into the food processor or the blender, garlic included. Might seem strange, but trust us, this is epic. In on top, one full fat can of coconut milk. Obviously, if you want to consume less fat, uh, use one low, fit, low fat tin of coconut milk. Uh, I've got one, fun, one tin of coke, uh, one tin of chopped tomatoes, that's 400 grams. Lid on, and we're gonna blendy blendy. Okay, boom, blend till nice and smooth and you'll see this sauce is quite thick. So typically we'll use about 400 grams to serve kind of four to five people. We got our pan, high heat, time to bring this together and make a simple curry. Now, time to add in veg of choice, whatever type of veg you like. So I've just toasted, while I was toasting the rest of the veg, I roasted some cauliflower and I included lots of the stalk just to add more flavor. So in they go into the pan. I've got one tin of chickpeas, I drain and rinsed it. In it goes, put in, you know, I have a, I have a little bit of roasted sweet potato, I'm just gonna put it in, just it'll give more flavor and color. And uh, while they start to heat up, I've got some fresh coriander, also known as cilantro. I'm gonna um, just chop up the stalks nice and finely. It's just gonna add more freshness and vitality. Obviously, many people hate coriander or cilantro. If you do, leave it out. So once these are nice and hot, you see they're beginning to steam, time to add in this creamy sauce. So the sauce is quite thick, but as it starts to heat up, it'll become a little bit more viscous, as in a little bit more runny. That's an amazing looking sauce. So the roasted veg are giving it that real sweet, vibrant color. Uh, last and final step, and I think this is really important, and many people are kind of underrated, is just tasting it, just seasoning. So when I'm seasoning the dish, I'm tasting it, and I'm trying to balance it between those five flavors, sweet, salty, bitter, acidic, umami. So to me, that would take a tiny little pinch of salt. Alternatively, you could put a little splash of tamari. If you're a tamari addict like myself and my brother, um, you could put a little more sweet if you want, but boom, that's incredibly delicious. Bit of coriander to go, boom. Et voila! There's a simple, easy, creamy, delicious curry sauce. Thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing. Comment below, let us know what you think of the sauce and the curries and any other suggestions that you have. Cheers, wishing you a great day.